Hello and welcome to this edition of Gadget Guru where we are going to show you what could be the future of how you are going to actually navigate your way from one place to the other. But before we do any of this, let's just quickly run you through all that we have for you on the program. And from there, very quickly to the Gadget and Gizmo related news stories of the week. Facebook announced its email service into its social network. The system blends email, Facebook messages, SMS and chat in one interface so that users can receive and send messages by their choice. In next couple of months, users can get a Facebook.com email ID which will allow them to communicate with any email account outside the Facebook network as well. The core elements of this email service would be seamless messaging, conversation history and social inbox. So to Google we'd say, watch out. It's confirmed that the next generation of processors from Intel, Sandy Bridge will be launched at CES 2011. While Intel executive Mooli Eden will take to stage to announce the world's fastest processor, we do hope to hear a number of Sandy Bridge system announcements from major laptop and desktop manufacturers. Be assured, we'll be there to catch it all. Okay, so let's start now with taking a look at Aura. Aura is what you call this. Now, what is this? This is a 3D way of navigating around Delhi in particular. I think has been well done. And I you like the very fact, you know, I've always been a little iffy about using GPS and uh, location maps and stuff like this because I still feel that I'm not on the right target now with a lot of 3D mapping buildings that as I pass them almost look the same. I quite like this idea. But, you know, let me just, just you seem to have two or three different products out here. The one that I'm holding on the Samsung Galaxy Tab, which is what this is the Galaxy S well. has also. This is called Aura, right? But this, does it only do 3D of Delhi or are there a lot of other parts of the country which are also in 3D? So Aura is what we're releasing, what we call 3D navigation with city guides and social networking uh, for basically connected devices, be it the new tablets that are coming into the market or the latest uh, mobile phones that are coming into the market. In fact, before we go any further and we, I think, let's, we just, just, yes. I think let's just show all of you all, all what exactly yeah. it is that you can expect when you're using Aura. And again, remember the health warning. This works fantastically right now in a in a place like Delhi where it is mapped. You will not right now have it for the other cities. It's released really just for Delhi. Delhi. It's released really just for Delhi. But take a look at what it does. Okay, so here's the first 3D navigation application in my hand over here. But believe me when I say this, it's not just about navigation, especially due to the fact that this application is now available on your mobile phones, on your tablets, or for that matter on any Android based platform device. So there's a lot more to navigation. First, check that out while I'll set up a demo for you. Yes, Aura does offer a tad more to make it a worthwhile Android based application downloaded on your device. It not only has a direct link to Facebook for today's socially networked generation next, you can also access the city guide to learn where to go and what to do in the national capital. But more importantly, it's the facility to book hotels, restaurants and movie halls from the comfort of your car that really takes the cake. And for those who would like to avoid the city during heavy monsoons, there's always a handy weather update at your disposal. So that was all the miscellaneous around the Aura and my favorite is of course the city guide. The fact that you can actually book your hotels sitting in your car. Unfortunately, only Delhi NCR is available right now and I really hope Mapma India actually increases its database. Now, coming on to the main Aura behind this application. Of course, the 3D navigation. So we've already done a setup over here. Let's run it through its faces. Giving navigation a realistic 3D user interface Aura does give a look and feel your navigation device should have always had. Available across Europe and North America, it's the first of its kind in India, but still restricted within the confines of National Capital Region. You can not only navigate via 3D city model map, but also enjoy a 360 degree 3D due tour of some of the famous landmarks and monuments in the city that you pass by, hence making your navigation experience a lot more realistic and viewer friendly. In addition, Map My India has also added a direct through contact navigation, which means that once updated, you can click for direct navigation to any phone book contact in your mobile or tablet. But once again, 
the service is only restricted to national capital region. You know, sometimes when you use these devices, let's say abroad, right, if you're in Europe, what you actually get is a very seamless, just one device, you know what you're going to get, there's no fuss about it and you can very easily navigate from the city, outside the city, countryside, it's just one device, you don't have to think twice about it. We've seen people take different routes. There were people who, when they want to buy a new car, want to buy a device which will aid their car driving, which is why they bought an in-car device. But there are also this huge amount of people who said, no, I want to have everything in a converged device. And the first device where they experience GPS or navigation was either a phone or a tablet, which is why we have solutions for all three. Let me just turn to you on one of the other uh, pieces of criticism that are out there. And I, and I don't know if, if, you know, when you were seeing the gadget of the year and Map My India was in the running for that. One of the criticisms that came in from Gul Banag, for example, and others was, look, this is fantastic. Now look at, look at it, look at Delhi on this. It's just great. You know, you've got full details. You've got the Purana Kila in 3D. It's all fantastic. But when you go out, when you go into the rural parts, even just 10, 15, 20 kilometers out of the city, the level of detail crashes, it becomes far more difficult to use this. And actually sometimes it's there that you really need the device far more than you do in the city. In the city you can roll down the window and ask somebody. But if you're out in the you know, rural Rajasthan uh, and you're not quite sure how to find your way and then if your device is not giving you the full details, you have a problem. The point is map is not like software. You, if you get your code right once, it will work everywhere. Mm -hmm. In a map, if you don't have this house, you don't have this house. You can have all the other 99 million yeah, houses. Have missed one. If you missed one that was relevant to you, mm -hmm. you'll have a bad experience. So people have had bad experiences and people have had good experiences. We've had users... So you're, saying, users you're saying this is going to be always an evolving business. The detail keeps changing, cities keep changing. I can't tell you comes up. that we, sure it keeps, we've keep spent changing. 15 years with 400 field surveyors walking and driving and re-driving millions of kilometers across and India, things. creating accurate maps and still we don't think we're anywhere near. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's just test that entire thing out. So what we're going to show you now is the two new things that have come in. One, door to door. That's very interesting. You can just put in an address, it will take you there. And the second is customized solutions for your car. So you don't have some ugly wires hanging around and even multimedia solutions that make GPS far more interesting. Let's take a look at these two. Now, if you consider yourself a little more adventurous than the rest of the world, just like I do, and often find yourself in places like these, which is more in the middle of nowhere, then that is exactly the time when you need a GPS navigational device to bail you out. Now, luckily for me, this SUV out here has all the gadgets in the world to make sure I reach my destination on time and safely. Let's see if we can do that. The thing is that GPS navigation is not anymore a big deal. To be very honest, your normal smartphone with a GPS will also help you find your destination. But right now the question is not that I have to get inside the city. The question is that I have to reach an exact location. Now this is exactly where it comes to my rescue. This is for the first time in India that you have a door-to-door -door navigation system. What it does is, it not only covers the last mile, it actually covers the last meter for you. As you can see, right now my destination is pretty wayward, which means I'm somewhere near to the Greater Noida Expressway. Yeah, it's a village actually near to the Greater Noida Expressway. So we're going to go into Greater Kalash in Delhi and let's see if I'm actually able to do it successfully. I've been able to successfully punch in the address and I have to admit I'm pretty excited by this. So let's see if we can reach the destination without any hiccups. While I was not really far from the Greater Noida Expressway, it was the complicated route that could have made life a little difficult in the absence of a navigator. What's really pointing out over here is DND Toll Plaza. What it really means is take out some change because we are sure going to need this. Okay, so as you can see right now, it's asking me to go left, but to be very honest with you, I think I'll avoid that. 
for the simple reason because I know there's going to be a lot of traffic over there and I really would like to avoid that. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go straight and you have to recalculate yourself. Oh, it has calculated the new route. But no matter whatever route you may take, New Delhi's traffic will eventually catch up with you. You know, every time I get stuck in this BRT corridor, I seriously wish there was some kind of navigational system that can tell you that there is going to be a lot of traffic. Avoid that route. Let me recalculate it for you and I'll take you safely and on time to your destination. And after a long frustrating wait, okay, finally some kind of moment. Thankfully, rest of the journey was indeed a smooth ride. Turn right. You know, in normal circumstances, it would say you reached your destination. Because as I said, most of the navigation systems until now take you to the last mile. But the last meter? Well, to be very honest with you, I'm really excited. Because I can see a heart over here and I can see the checkered flag as well. It's asking me to turn right. Okay, I have another 150 meters. Now I'm getting into those inner roads within a sector or a society. It says 30 meters. So is that the exact house? So that's pretty accurate. So I have reached my destination. And to be very honest, I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed right now. But this was the software. Now, let's talk about the in-car entertainment because there's a lot to it. And as I said to you before even starting my journey, this car is fit with a lot of gadgets and you would really like to see all of them. So while I go and grab a quick coffee at my friend's place, you take a look what all this car has. Yes, that's right. Map My India is now boasting of India's first multi-zone entertainment system. And what that really means is that each and every passenger in the car can now access an individual navigation device that also doubles up as an entertainment console. Just like an international in-flight entertainment system. In addition, you can also use multiple input sources like SD card and USB besides the normal DVD slot. But if you really want to enjoy all this in-car entertainment, believe me, you need to be sitting back out here. Hence, I've called my chauffeur for the next destination. And trust me, this is going to be real fun. But do keep in mind that it's not just the experience, but the price also may sound a bit luxurious, as you may end up spending anywhere between 50 to 75,000 rupees approximately, even though the exact price is yet to be announced. Uh, wh while you're sounding pretty euphoric about all of this, I, I have one feeling that I think you must be a little unsteady on and that is your own in-car devices eventually with tablets, mobile phones and other devices coming in and the experience really becoming as good on these. Don't you think that's going to die out? I mean, why would I want to add it on? If it came kind of already in my car, I'm happy. What we've realized is in the car, people are looking for different things. Mm -hmm. They are looking for not just navigation but entertainment, connectivity to a reverse camera. That's why we, we saw that entire thing. It's that all built you in. Put in it it's all, all built in, in and you're customizing it for various cars. And what they're looking for on a phone or a tablet is uh, connectivity on the go which is not necessarily connected to the car. Because the maps themselves can now be provided for free by someone like Google Maps. Now if you look at the extent and the detail to which Google Maps has mapped India, it must be worrying you a lot because it's in a lot surprising of surprising is they're not a company from India and they're but they mapped a it to job. a great degree just like in search if there was no good data what would a search engine search now if there's good map data you, a good search engine can search it well uh, the point is maps are not structured available on the web that you can crawl through servers mm -hmm. you have to physically go and collect this data okay. but Google's done it uh, you can have